Dr. Jason Jones. Uh, welcome to our video today and we're going to be talking about artificial sweeteners. Now before you put the X up there and tell me how good your artificial sweetener is and how because you're a diabetic you know you have to have it and all those other sorts of things that my doctor said and all those types of things. Um, I want to explain to you what uh, these things really are and what they really do. Um, initially um, they were going to be taken off the market back in 1983 uh, because they found um, that cancer rates, um, especially brain cancer, went up dramatically um, along with some other sorts of cancers as well. Um, and then that uh, research was sort of, you know, dampened down and the legislation was pushed through and, and um, you know, we don't want to get political on the video, but in all actuality, um, artificial sweeteners, whether it's the pink stuff, the blue stuff, the yellow stuff, uh, aspartame, aspartate, um, or what are oh, it's known as sucralose, and sucralose is the sort of technical chemistry name for Splenda. So uh, Splenda is not sugar. Um, it is they say it's made from sugar, uh, but honestly, when you take a sugar molecule and you cut off um, some oxygens and some hydrogens and you replace those with chlorine. That is not sugar. I promise you, it's not. Uh, what we tell our patients is, is that if you take, uh, if you take a cup of pool water with chlorine in it, and you put some sugar in it, and you spin it around, and you drink pool water with sugar in it, sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, that's what you're getting when you get uh, Splenda. Um, you can go on the internet and look under uh, artificial sweetener side effects, aspartate side effects, aspartame side effects, uh, Splenda side effects, or sucralose side effects, and you see a whole host of things. Um, but they do a very similar thing to as um, MSG does is that they are neurotoxin toxic so again I know that's some big words don't go to sleep on me but basically it's toxic to your nervous system and to your brain um, and the fact that they do that um, you should avoid them at all costs uh, try to find some sort of alternative there's tons of them out there that are actually okay and safe for you to have uh, but again artificial sweeteners you want to avoid them like the plague uh, again, this is Dr. Jason Jones bringing you practical wellness tips. And as always, don't keep our office a secret.